Good morning everyone and welcome back to Craft Eccentricity and today we're going to do the KS Craft uh, Mickey Face album. Um, it's either a mini album or you could uh, pop it into your planner page. I will actually measure down that spine section uh, just to see if that is possible. So I'm getting the bits out because I got organised and I tried to do a few things and also I want to talk about the pieces. Right, you get two pieces. There they are. And while I'm thinking about it, I will measure this one. Uh, where's my ruler? <laughs> so I just had to do a measurement for somebody else on another video and uh, cast it across the table. Need to get a few more of these, I think. Right, so that section, cut line to cut line, is six inches. That is your spine, side, uh, whatever it is you want to call it, where you'll put your rings or your lacing or whatever it is you choose to do. And the distance there between the holes, can you see that? You are an inch either side. So if you've got a planner and you want to measure your holes there, they are an inch either side. And that is accurate all the way across. I'm pretty sure it is. So that's for those of you who want to pop this into a planner. Right, getting back to it, yes, because I digress. You get two pieces, and if I lay them on top of each other, one is slightly, only slightly, larger than the other. That means that is your base that you'll cut in uh, whatever colour cardstock you want, usually a plain cardstock, and then the slightly smaller one in a pattern cardstock if you choose to. So that's those, but these sections do match up with the holes below. So you get a top and a base. So really you get in one half of an album. When I actually saw it like that, I thought, and my brain wasn't working correctly, that I was getting two sides, if you know what I mean, like that. But it isn't like that. It's it's like that. Right. So that's that bit explained. And dipping back into my bag, you get smaller ones so that if you've got, um, oh, what do you call it, a disc punch, you could make a smaller version. And then with that, you also get the top and the bottom or they can be layering pieces that actually go onto the larger one. You get the words, um, best day ever, which I have cut out. I'm going to show you. You also get the classic kind of mini Mouse bow. And you also get the picture wheel. Now, the picture wheel, I know it needs poking out is one-sided so if you want to layer it up which is what I've done then just use a circle die that is going to fit within this region here cut your circle and then pop your disc on but I'm going to show you that right so the bits that I've got on the table I want to share those with you because I've already cut those out so first up is the picture wheel now, I've decided to go with a Live Design uh, Freedom is Good paper pack from Snap Click Supply. That's a digital pack that you download and print. And as it's Wednesday, I've got to tell you, it's Snap Click Supply, one buck Wednesday. So everything's a dollar today um, that they got in their particular section. So it's, you know, it's always good to go and have a look, see what you can get for a dollar. Right. So the red star paper is from that pack and then from the internet I found a free image of Steamboat Willie which is the original Mickey Mouse okay so that's what I did there and if I flip it over you can see that I cut a circle so that I could put that down and all of the color and what have you would show through so that is the film reel and I think it's really sweet Right, next up is the bow. There we go. And there is another part to the bow. There's a back and this is the top. So sticking with my colour theme again, that is my bow. And all I did was cut the base in black and then I cut my top uh, fancy bow pieces. I left them in the die. I applied glue on them while they were in the die not right up to the edge you know because you know it's going to squish when you push down and then I picked up my black base and I just laid it on top 
rubbed it and then those pieces came out as you can see there which is how the design is meant to be so that is how I did that and then next up what do I have oh yeah I've got to show you the pages oh here's the words first so there is best day ever and the star pattern paper that I've got there is used for the top of the letters so I've got those so those are bits that I've done there and I have got other bits but I'll share those with you right the two smaller sections I've cut two because I'm just going to do two top pages I've got a bit of fluff on that one but never mind so that's what those look like I'm going to move those and then I did two large pages so I've got a black base and that's the live design again from snap click supply it's got a sort of painty inky splash on it so I've gone for that so I've done two of those I've got two of these I might not use both of them but the idea is you know kind of to layer up and have a more sort of grown up -y looking kind of uh, page now other things that I've cut that I think are matchy matchy and separate dies and that is the Mickey Mouse pretzel which is absolutely gorgeous there it is if you wanted to go overboard with that you could make it shiny you could brush a little bit of glue on there and let it dry and chuck some uh, chunky white clear glitter on there so that you've got like the salt crystals of the pretzel so I did the pretzel I did the flamingo this is all using that same paper pack there from snap click supply so my flamingo is non-traditional but it's you know a little bit vintage and then I also did the castle and I stuck with that paper pack again so that that's the base of the magic castle and then I've got a black border for my castle and then what's good about that is you get an inny bit so you've got an inny bit that you can use as a shadow or part shadow on another page so I've kept that because I might use it so that's really good and then with the castle you get another set of words and I've cut those and that is my happy place and then off the internet again it's the same Steamboat Willie but this time enlarged and I've just fussy cut that and I'm going to try and work that into the page right so I'm just gonna clear my gubbins off the table and we'll get started right so the first thing I'm gonna need to do is glue the tops to the bases and you can see you've got a lovely little border there but the most important thing about this is that all of your holes will line up with your base when you're done so I'm just going around those holes I've just got a little bit of glue there on Mickey's ear. I'll wipe that off. And I'm using Dollar Tree glue. I'm going to wiggle it around there and then take some around there. Hope you can see this. So I've got the camera dropped right down so that you can see everything. And uh, sometimes it excludes stuff from the image All right so I've got a nice little bit of glue down on that one and I'm just going to flip it over try not to put my fingers in it and the important thing is is to line up those holes now I need to lift that just towards me so that I can see Pull that over just a little bit. Right, I've got that. Let's smooth that down. I think I got that right. No, I didn't. So I'm just going to move that over slightly. That's it. Push that down now. Smooth the ear down. I'm going to do exactly the same thing to the other one and I will be right back. Right, so here we have um, two of the pages now and the tops are glued down and they feel nice and dry. So it's a matter of taking all your pieces and arranging them 
And as I said, I'm going for a slightly sort of like vintagey look here. And I want my picture wheel there. So I'm going to put my glue down there. And I should have filled up my glue bottle, but I didn't, which is uh, very naughty of me. I need to keep it stored upside down, I think, for a moment. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try and get it on its side. Point downwards there. I've got it resting off to the camera. Right, so I'm just looking at where I'm putting this. And I'm going to go back there. I mean, this is one of those die sets that you can be as pretty as you want to be. And it can also be masculine. So... I'm trying to do it halfway, if you know what I mean. I'm trying to be a bit vintagey. It could be boy or girl. And I'm also using the colours of uh, America, the red, white and blue, because Disney is American, right? That's my reasoning behind all that. So I've got my picture wheel glued down, and that's nice and smooth. And then I've got other bits to think about. I'm thinking about the ear sections at the moment. And I'm pretty sure that I want to have my bow on that page. So I'm likely to go about there with that. So I can move that up a bit now that I've done that. And I'm thinking where, where I want my other bits. I mean, I've got a pretzel, you know. You can start arranging stuff wherever you want to. Or you can just leave it loose. I mean, something like that would be nice with ribbon tied around it as a bookmark dangling in or out. And as you can see, some of the pieces are larger than the actual page. So you are likely to get bits dangling out. Now, I think I'm going to leave that as something loose that could go onto a ribbon at another time. But I know that I want that bow there. So that's where I'm going to stick it. And then... If I've done it in the wrong place, woe would be me, you know. So I only want the centre stuck down because things like this, you can always tuck stuff in behind them. You know, if you've got a photo or something, then you can just pop it there. You know, just tuck it under your bow and uh, your bow will hold it there. And that's why I'm only gluing the centre. And that's nice and stuck. And then I've got my castle. And I've got best day ever. So if I move my pretzel off to one side. So it's all nice and matching. But I've also got this that I cut. And I think I, think I just want to stick that there. Because I do like that vintage vibe. And I could have best day ever on here if I wanted to. And I might do that. I might stick that up on an ear. And I can tuck that little bit under. That's probably what I'm going to do. Right, I'm going to stick best day ever down and I'm going to put my steamboat willy there and I will be right back. Right, so I put those things down. But um, I decided to do my best day ever and do it at sort of like little bits of angle so that it's not perfectly straight. Because, you know, cartoony things can be all over the place sometimes. And my castle, I really like this. And I love that it's in, in black. And I think I'm going to put it here and I'm going to trim it off. That's what I'm going to do. In fact, I think what I might do is use the, I'll just grab it, is use the actual die so that I can achieve a curve on it. So making sure that I'm choosing my inner piece and not my outer piece so that the curve is correct. I'm just grabbing them both out of the bag. And which one is the smallest? Right, so it's this one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to run off and I'm just going to lay that within that section there. 
let's see. And I'm, I'm going to trim it off with the die so that I've got that lovely curve that will fit on here. And I'll be right back. Right, so I just ran it through and here's what I ended up with. So I've got a piece that I can match to the base below. So I'm going to glue that down. And I left the lid off my bottle. <laughs> and I've also got to wait for it to drip down. Oh, I just totally forgot to fill it. Oh, but it's still working, so that's okay. Just need to get your glue into your fiddly bits so that they don't lift up. Because, of course, little albums and books, um, if you start stuffing them full of everything, then, uh, you know, you want to make sure all your parts are stuck down and not moving around. Right. So I just need to match that up again. Make sure that's straight. I think that's it. I think I've got it straight. I've got a slight little angle. Just pull it over and then just pop it down. So I like that. And I do apologise if my camera's gone a bit blurred. It's very... Uh, it's very grey outside, but I'm not going to complain because we really need the rain. Right. So I've got my lovely shadow castle. If I move that over there, I've got my, my loose pretzel. Whoops. And I've also got this one. And I have got the little, you know... I'll lift it up thing so I can tuck anything in that I want to. And I can have my flim flam there. But I think that's probably a bit dark to go there. But I'm going to use my bow for tucking stuff in because I quite like that. Now, the only thing left to do is my castle, which is the one that I've done the background for. And basically, I just need to put glue all the way around that black edge and line it up. And then I'm going to pop my white sentiment on top of this. But you could absolutely use this as a frame and a space to add a photograph. In fact, if I'd have thought about it, I probably would have tried to find um, a vintage image of uh, Walt Disney himself and popped it inside the castle. Because uh, he was the man that created the magic. Right, just get that there. So, I've got a lovely glue trail all the way around. And now I just need to pop it onto here. So, try to get it straight. And before I push it down too much, make sure that I'm on my edges accurately. And that looks about right. So just cleaning the rest of the glue off my hands. And that's going to need a couple of seconds to dry. But while that's happening, I'm going to pop this on and just following the lettering with my glue bottle. And I hope everyone's going to have a wonderful day today. I always try to find something good in every day, always. I don't know about you, but I don't like going to bed. <laughs> I get really, really tired. I'm like Bo. Bo's my dog, and when he's got his toy in his mouth, he refuses to go to sleep, and uh, he'll usually topple over with exhaustion because he didn't want to let go of chewing his ball or something. And I can be a lot like that when I'm crafting, and... Um, I'm always afraid that I'm missing something or not doing something if I fall asleep. So I'm just like my dog. Right, so we've got my happy place on there. But as I was saying, you know, you've got plenty of space within that castle if you wanted to uh, insert a photo and then just use the edge to frame it. 
So I think that's really cute. Well, I'm just going to give that a couple of seconds to dry and I'll be right back. So everything's glued and finished and basically that one is my first page and I'm putting it sideways on and I'm hoping I can get some clarity here. Move my hand away slightly. So I've got the picture wheel and I've got the inny part of the castle that I kept, which I think is a great shadow background. And then the second page, which is this one, and we've got the bow and we've got the best day ever. And I just love Steamboat Willie as part of it. So I love that vintage vibe about them. And then, of course, we've got the, uh, the castle, which is what I've just glued. And you could certainly pop a picture in there. So I'm going to stick that under the bow because, as I said, you know, only the middle is glued. So you can get away with tucking all sorts of stuff. And then there's this gorgeous Mickey pretzel, which I just think is really cool. It would make a great fridge magnet if you've got any uh, Disney fans in your house. And then the little flamingo done vintage style as well. So, you know, I've got... Quite literally, everything's stuffed in that bow on the ear, <laughs> which is me all over. But there we go. Two pages. Yeah, I love that. But I do. I thank you so much for joining me today. And I'm going to be up again tomorrow with more from KS Craft. And I think we're going to do that um, pocket page with the slits I think somebody asked for. So, once again, do have an awesome day, and as usual, all links below. Bye.